Hey there, people of the internet, friends, and family. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, your boy, Derek's, and today we are reacting to a death battle. Omni-Man versus Homelander, Invincible versus The Boys. So if you have not seen the official release and you would like to watch this video uninterrupted, link in the description. Okay, so before we uh, jump in, uh, I have a quick announcement. Um... So, for anyone who follows my Let's Play series currently on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh, that is going to be temporary uh, on hold. Um, I have had some technical difficulties with OBS regarding OBS and my Elgato game capture device. Um, you know, it's going to be easier if I just show you what the problem is. Yes, this, as you can see, is the problem. Um, Basically, long story short, what happened was I was, you know, doing a recording, um, and one of my cats, you know, they were sleeping right underneath the desk, and when they went to get up and walk out, they ended up yanking all the cords connected to my, uh, tower, crashing, uh, the display settings, just, basically just crashed the computer. And I lost everything uh, for that recording session, so I didn't lose my entire hard drive. But it caused this problem to happen, where the screening, or the screen size, won't get readjusted. Even if I go to settings, uh, yeah, it's just a mess, and the gr uh, quality of the graphics is pretty bad too. So. Uh, but I do have a, a friend coming over uh, very soon to try to help me fix that. He's very good with computers and stuff. So hopefully we can get that fixed. But I digress. That out of the way. Back to the uh, death battle. So um, uh, I didn't really take too many notes on this one. Because to me it's just kind of clear who's going to win. And that's going to be Omni-Man. Like Homelander, I mean, he has some you know decent feats that he's done. But... Omni Man, from my perspective, just outclasses him in you know feats of strength and durability. I mean, Omni Man ignited the atmosphere of a planet just by flying extremely fast. And and I'm gonna be honest, I really have no love for either of these characters. I I've, I've seen a little bit of Invincible, Invincible but not really. Uh, the boys, I haven't watched at all um, and, but there's only at least one maybe two ways that Homelander could win and that is using um, his ability to uh, read people's emotions by listening to their heart if I you know if I wrote that down remember correctly and um, you know his high powered yell, scream, whatever you want to call it. Because people like Omni-Man or of his race, they are highly sensitive to high frequencies and that can you know, disable their ability to fly and you know, just, it's, it's one of their, like, very few weaknesses. And so, yeah. Th those two things, I mean, I don't know how uh, listening to someone's heart when it comes to their emotional state could help. I mean, if they're getting, you know, desperate or they're, you know, panicking, okay, you can take advantage of that. Uh, but Omni-Man really seems a guy who is relaxed. I mean, I shouldn't say relaxed. Uh, he can keep, you know, a level head enough to in combat that, I mean, from what I can tell, omni Man's a pretty cocky guy. I mean, both of these guys are cocky, so nothing's really going to get underneath their skin that easily I think but yeah so I'm yeah Omni-Man for the win and so yeah enough of me talking let's go ahead and jump right into this all right and play oh I like the uh, animation yeah, it sounds really nice. Uh-oh. Howdy, neighbor. Coco? It's warm. You know, Nolan, 
Homelander is more than just a superhero. They might be cynical to say this, but he's a, a brand. And it's very important to me that that... Okay, so are we saying Homelander just invited himself into Omni-Man's home? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem like a very good idea while he's running his mouth about himself. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's dead. That brand means something. And if I'm playing second fiddle to some goddamn alien, oh. what's really the point, right? Matter of pride. Think? Debbie? Oh! Nah, no, she's shy. So... Mm, but man, that, that's actually kind of a... Uh, hard to look at. Yikes. Do we have an understanding? Get the f*** out of my country. <sighs> I'm going to feed you your own heart. <laughs> Shit. That was a great life. <laughs> country? Seriously? I'm not here for your country. <laughs> I will not be surprised at the end of this fight that just like a whole city or state or continent just gets demolished because of these two guys' egos. Which would be kind of fitting for this type of fight, honestly. Yeah, it doesn't even phase him. Never been hit by someone your own size before? You have to turn with the punch to reduce. <laughs> Better. Yeah, this is no competition. Oh. Okay, except for that. Yeah, did I say that the entire town was going to get vaporized? Oh, his. Public image is getting ruined, and now the there's his ego. Are you going to cry? Right now, those son of yours! This one less neighborhood! And every goddamn person you know! Oh. Ow. Ugh. Remember what I promised you. Merry Christmas. Oh. I have to say, I mean, I was expecting it, but I wasn't, you know, expecting it. But this, oh, I think this is probably the most bloody and gory death battle yet. Wiz, if there's a god, it sure seems like he was working out some aggression there. Despite Homelander's dominance within the world of the boys, he's a big fish in a small pond. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, 7.2 billion times faster, six healing factor, superior flight ability. Slightly more variant riding abilities, counters. Yeah. Yeah, like this was the only thing that uh, Homelander had. It was, yeah, no contest. On, relatively speaking, Homelander can move faster than sound, while Omni-Man can move faster than light. Homelander can survive a nuke, while Omni-Man can shatter- Did have a couple of abilities Omni-Man didn't, like his heat vision. And while Viltrumite healing factors have failed against continuous exposure to the heat of stars, that still took quite a bit of time. And there's no reason to think Homelander's heat vision was anywhere near that hot. Hell, Nolan's tanked heat vision from the superhero Mean Supreme before, who can vaporize people in an instant. Even if it was hot enough, Omni-Man's superior speed would cut him off before he could do any lasting damage. Similarly, Homelander wasn't strong enough to capitalize on it in any meaningful way. Plus, while Homelander is pretty devious when the situation calls for it, Omni-Man has been fighting and conquering worlds for thousands of years. He comes from a warrior culture based on fighting himself as a fighter because he was always so much stronger than everyone else. 
And that's the key difference between them. One is a warrior, and the other is a bully. Homelander was never going to give up easy, but Omni-Man's skill, power, and Viltrumite heritage earned him the win. When it comes to Superman knockoffs, Homelander had to eat his heart out. The winner Literally. is Omni-Man. Well, good thing I didn't Death eat Bell before is this. Back, and we've launched a brand new membership program for our YouTube channel. By directly supporting our team, you'll get unique emotes, badges, and additional content, and a bunch more. Click that join button to see more info, and thanks so much for watching. All right, who's next? Magneto. Okay. Tetsu. Well, Tetsu. Yeah, I only know that character because of a YouTube channel. Uh, Anime recap, I think it is. But oh, good night. I mean, I was expecting a one-sided fight, but I wasn't expecting it to get that that brutal and bloody. But then looking at the franchises these two come from, it's not that surprising. Anyway, well, that's it for this video. Uh, like, comment, uh, uh, and subscribe, and yeah, just tell me what you guys thought about this fight. I'm sure there's some of you out there who love the brutality of this. And uh, yeah, I will catch you later.